This program is made possible courtesy of the Wilfred Lai Partners. For prayers, inquiry, and partnership, contact us on 0800-000-898 or send a text to 23378 and our team of counselors will help you. This program is made possible courtesy... Yeah. 
Lord, we worship you. Nandirebo Raba. Natarabo si hanadada banda si hande babo re bagasi hereda ramanda oh Jesus oh matarada ba ye la la bara babo si alada ba zoma ya baba ba zoma rombara bara boko selerere. E kararara ba kare boko ma yararara ba ra ba ra ra ba ra ba yararara ra ra ba ra 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 ba ga yarama boko ma 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 ba ra boko si harara ba ye la 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 ba ra ri harara ra ba ndoro ba zoma ra ba ba zoko ma ma ba ye ndoro ro ma ndarara ba oh Lord we worship you. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we magnify your name. Lift up your hands, everybody. Shidi halabagosi libakata manda. Open your mouth. Get your breakthrough early in the morning. Yere bomba yanda raba raba. Raba gari harara raba gari boko salada raba. Raba baba gari harara raba raba raba. Rembada bara boko sombari halada raba, reramada baba baba koshi halada raba, kura mara baba raba. He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself. He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself. Oh, edify yourself this morning. Yare bara rada bara raba. Ara ra ra ba ra bo sha ra 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 ba Kura ba ra ba kura ba ri ha ra la la ba Kura ba ba ra ba go shi ha ra ba Kura ba 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 ya la ba ka ra ba Oh wonderful savior Wonderful redeemer Great and mighty God Great and mighty God Luba gai ruba rihala di boku sumba yadaba ruba ba 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 glorify his name magnify him great and mighty God great and mighty God luda bara lindo raba raba kata bara ba raba boga ya boga ya boga sula de la la Oh, we worship you. Ni we we, waku abuti wa ni we we, ni we we bwana ni we we, waku abuti. Ni we we bwana, ni we we, waku abuti wa ni we we. Oh, ni we we bwana, ni we we, oh waku abuti wa ni we we. Waku pe wasi fa, waku pe wasi fa, na uduku. Aishima, ni we we, wenye kuku, wenye kuku, na uweza, na uweza, ni we we. Ni we we, 
your hands all you people and shout unto God with a voice of triumph hallelujah 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 you are a champion I say you are a champion you are here because you are a champion Give your neighbor a high ten and tell them keep on winning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The kingdom of darkness is suffering loss. I say the kingdom of darkness is suffering loss. And the kingdom of God is getting stronger and stronger. I say the kingdom of God is getting stronger and stronger and the kingdom and the kingdom of the devil is getting weaker and weaker and weaker we are taking over for Jesus I say we are taking over Mombasa for Jesus and we're not only taking Mombasa we are taking the nation I say we are taking the nation because we are the gatekeepers and we are taking the nation back to God. There will be no sorcery. There will be no witchcraft. There, is n there will be no divination. This nation will be led by God. He is in charge. Somebody shout yes. Somebody shout a big yes, 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 yes. Because God is able. Let's make our confession this morning. One, two, three, let's go. And God is able to make all grace abound towards me that I always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work amen amen and amen and amen and amen welcome your neighbor on your left and on your right and tell them you are in the right place tell them thank you for thank you for making me a champion we are all champions because we are a team and we run together hallelujah and when we run together we win together glory to God amen uh, uh, thank you very much we have our choir here on the platform I tell you we we have we have a platform that is down amen it is high enough to keep us above amen. glory to god amen thank you very much choir you may take your place i don't know your place is this side and there's that side too glory to god now they have got two sides thank you jesus hallelujah you may be seated in the presence of god we are so grateful to have every one of you uh in the house this morning uh in the tent <laughs> thank you master hallelujah i we are in the season of booths and we moved out in a booth because that's what uh, during this season that is what the people of God did they went out and they started living in tents to remind themselves that one time 
that they were slaves in Egypt. Sometimes when you get too uh, comfortable in your place, in your house, you forget where you are coming from. So it is also good sometimes to get out of the cathedral, the glass cathedral, and remind ourselves one time we didn't even have a tent. We were in a hall. We didn't, we didn't even have a place where we could worship God uh, early in the morning like this. We were controlled by uh, the owners of those places. You can easily forget and think that we always had our own place. It is important to remember where you are coming from that at one time we would be in a, in a hall that had disco the whole night and we come to church in the morning and there are broken bottles, poured beer everywhere and we would clean up the place and get it ready for the work of the ministry to be done. We are coming from far. We need to remember lest we become too comfortable and forget where God brought us from. Somebody say amen. amen. And those days I was everything. I was a driver. I, uh, I carried the sound system. We fixed it. We pulled it down. Amen. You couldn't leave it because it was not your place. So, so we put up the sound system, we pulled it down, we put it, uh, my car was, was a, 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 the church a, a transport. So I had a car with a big boot, so we would, we would pile the, uh, the sound system there and it is, good, it is good to remember where we are coming from so that when you have all this space you get you you make good use of it somebody say amen, amen. And we will never we, the reason why we remember is that so that we don't go back there if you remember where you are coming from you will appreciate where you are and always strive to go further amen. so that you don't stay where you are you go further tell your neighbor we are going further and this morning I am talking about uh, the seven anointings of the Feast of Tabernacles. This is a time of great blessing in God's calendar. The first anointing is the anointing of the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit. Go with me in your Bibles in the book of John chapter 7. John chapter 7. Uh, and verse 37. This is Jesus speaking on the last day of this feast, the Feast of Tabernacles. That great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living waters. But this he spoke, underlined verse 39 in your Bible, concerning the Spirit, whom those 
whom those believing in him would receive for the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified the first anointing of the feast of tabernacle is the Holy Spirit Jesus spoke about it during this feast and he said to the people if any one of you thirsts let him come to me and let him drink he says if any one of you thirsts let him come to me Jesus is speaking on the last day of the feast this is called the great feast everybody say the great feast this is the feast of tabernacles it is the last feast it is the last celebration of God's calendar of the year and Jesus is speaking uh, to the people and he wants to point he points them to the future and he begins to speak prophetically concerning the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and he speaks in the way to explain that for you to be filled with the Holy Spirit you will need to thirst for God you cannot be filled with the Spirit if you are not thirsty he says you have to thirst he spoke in Matthew chapter 5 and he said blessed are they who thirst and anchor for righteousness for they shall be filled when you anchor for God when you have a hunger and a thirst for God God fills you with his spirit you have to thirst for it you have to hunger for it for the anointing to come upon you when you are satisfied with Christianity as usual you remain dry you remain dry the rain will not come upon you but when you hunger and thirst Jesus says those who come to me let them drink you do not come to Jesus and you remain thirsty you come and drink of the Holy Ghost when you come to Jesus when you choose to come to Jesus you must drink tell your neighbor we are here to drink until we are drunk tell your neighbor don't remain sober drink until you are drunk when you are not when you are not drunk you are too conscious about everything you are conscious about what you don't have you are conscious about how you are dressing you are conscious about who is sitting next to you but when you drink and you are drunk you do not recognize and it actually doesn't matter in Ephesians in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18 it says do not be drunk with wine in which is dispersion instead be filled with the Holy Ghost and Jesus was speaking about the Holy Spirit who had not yet been given but now we celebrate the feast of the tab ta tabernacle under the anointing of God 
because the spirit has come and we can be completely drunk you can have an anointing that cannot be stopped you can have a power that no one can come against it you see those that are being disturbed by the devil they want to be high to forget their problems they are shooting into their bodies deadly things so that they can feel high we need to bring them to this place that they they may they may know that that which they shoot in their bodies can never get them as high as we go do i have people here who go very high do i have people here uh, 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 do i have people here who really get high because when you get high you are you are not drunk like those who drink beer you go higher you go higher you are so drunk in God that you don't care about small little things that the enemy is doing you have an anointing from heaven to stay above principalities above powers above rulers this is an anointing for this season and if you have been having half tongue of the anointing of the holy ghost you need to be filled you need to wake up every morning and tell god my tongue must be full i must have full tongue tell him fill me with the holy ghost tell you tell the lord fill me with the holy ghost Tell the, tell the Lord, fill me. Let me be under the rain. I take away the, I, I take away the umbrella. So that the rain, the power of the Holy Ghost may sit on me. That I may accomplish my purpose for salvation. You know, unless you have this anointing. You cannot serve. You, we can't serve God in the flesh. He told the disciples to go and wait. Until they are endued with power. So this anointing brings power in your life. Power to live a godly life power to overcome the enemy power to preach the gospel power that drives away every fear and puts in you confidence to be successful Amen. tell your neighbor you need confidence do you still remember the things that you need in order to succeed you need confidence to succeed and the Holy Ghost gives us confidence. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Acts chapter 1, he tells them, he tells them to go and wait. Until they are endued with power. Until they receive the promise of the Father. And then in verse 8, he says, and you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall become witnesses unto me in jerusalem in judea in samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the world this anointing is our portion do not let this season end without you being so high learn to get high tell your neighbor learn to get high shoot this thing into your system hallelujah tell your neighbor let this thing be in your system you don't you you don't need a, a, a an injection you can shoot it by faith you can shoot it into your system by faith i say it is by faith it is by faith and you get so high and then you can manifest the power of God. 
you can manifest the power of God. You can keep the devil under your feet. You can wake up before the devils wake up and bind them. You, you are not controlled by what controls other people because, because oh, last night here it was fireworks, you know. We, we were learning about sonship and we discovered when you are not, when you are actually not a son, you are a child and you are full of childish things. The children are sleeping now. Imagine. Imagine. The children are what? The children are sleeping. And if there is any son that is sleeping, it's a foolish one. Because you command your day. Do you understand the scripture? A, a wise son wakes up early before dawn and they command their day. You order your day. You determine how much you are going to achieve in the day. That one you cannot do after the sun has come up because those that control what happens during the day, they do it in the fourth watch. Everybody say the fourth watch. And if you don't have revelation, you will be waking up and, and you just do things normally. You need to be under the, under the influence of something. I say you need to be under the influence of something so that you can take charge. You can control what is going to happen. You can, you can pray like a man that knows that you are in charge and command the money to come in your business command people to come and buy command things to happen where you are and command those things that may be may be released from the dark world command them out of the way and you tell them you cannot cross my lines because i am not just any, any ordinary i am also fire you tell them I am not only baptized with the Holy Ghost, but I am baptized with fire. So if you cross my way, you will be burnt. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I say somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I say somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. This anointing is ours. It is one of the seven anointings and I felt I need to start with it. Because it is an anointing of this system, uh, of this season. And Jesus spoke about it. He said, anyone who wants to come to follow me, you need to have rivers. You need to have rivers. One river for money. <laughs> Flowing, bringing in money. Ay, 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 ay. You need another, another river. Flowing, releasing love and a river releasing favor you need to have rivers flowing from your belly because life flows from there everything you need in life must flow from your belly and it is the flow of the holy ghost from your belly that releases rivers rivers of wisdom rivers of understanding being able to understand things that other people don't even know they exist things that you never went to school to learn I say things that you were not taught in school but you are taught by God through a spirit by revelation can I have an amen from somebody can I have an amen from somebody lift up your hands right now and 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 uh, and begin to and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Ayaraba kiharaba. Ayaraba bukumba yataraba ya sukantaraba. Come on, pray strongly. Ba 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 rihabo kusalaba ya biyaraba raba. Sila badi hararaba kushandaraba. 
Holy Ghost Holy Ghost power the anointing that will break yokes the anointing that will break yokes the anointing that will break yokes today Oh roboriando ramanda rabako si haraba Oh rima baba baya sota rabakanta Yuri bahanda raba raba let the rain let the rain fall on you yele de bokoshi halaraba ye manda badi baru manda raba kasaraba from your belly this day from your belly this day wisdom will flow from your belly this day wisdom from the holy spirit ah let this anointing rest on you so that you can walk in wisdom you can walk in power receive the anointing of the holy ghost receive the anointing of the holy ghost Oh hallelujah Shata daba kantara raba ya shiharaba Let this anointing be your portion Early in the morning drink from the wells of God drink from the wells of God that you will not thirst again drink from the wells of God the wells of God the wells of God from the wells of God Drink right now. Kuma ya ba ya soka ma ya di ya rabu rimenga ya ga etanda rabu shalaraba. Let the glory, let the glory of the Lord, let the glory of the Lord come upon you. Let the presence of the living Savior be your portion the whole day. In the name of Jesus. Yere reba katari haraba. Ye manda rabo komaya tarabo shi halaba. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Lift up both of your hands. Say this after me. Say, Father, Father in this season, in this season may, I you may I experience you in a fresh way. In a fresh way. I, receive a fresh I receive a fresh anointing. I receive a fresh anointing from heaven. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit rain down on me, down on me. Let, me be let me be soaked with your glory, with your glory. Let, there be the let there be the manifestation of your power, of your power in, my in my life this day, this day. In, Jesus name. in Jesus name clap your hands and shout with a voice I say with a voice of triumph amen and amen you may be seated in the presence of God what a week we are going to give our early morning sacrifice this morning get ready for the blessing of the month of October this month is a month of grace grace you will have double you will have double of everything grace will usher you into double blessings 
I say it is it is it is grace grace is a matter of for you are double blessing look at your neighbor tell them neighbor your expectation for this month must be right it is your month for double portion expect God to give you double blessing hallelujah so if you if you need an envelope you are for you are giving from your phone uh, you need uh, an envelope to put the information uh, I know we don't have screens here uh, but uh, we are good tell your neighbor it is it is good sometimes to come out of those comforts so I will remind you the number if you don't remember it you're giving from your phone is 991070 account is 2A for tithes and offerings hallelujah if you are giving uh, your revival seed it is a till number a 143609 amen 143609 and the Lord is going to mightily, mightily bless you. Thank you, Jesus. We want to pray for the offering. Lift it up before the Lord. Father, thank you so much for the opportunity that you have given us today to be in your house. We have begun the week in power. We have begun this week with great expectation father i pray that as we give this offering it will come back to us multiplied many times we glorify you and praise you in jesus name we pray amen. and all god's people shout a big amen. amen amen the ashes will come and they will serve us give as unto the lord this is our week of prayer and fasting three days of prayer and fasting they are enough to order the month somebody say amen and so every time at it as it is our good tradition we come in the evening Yes, you can just come and connect to the uh, to the altar. It is not a small altar; it is the same one. So don't think that you are putting your 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 tithe on a small altar. It is the same one. Uh, we just we just reduced the size, but it. <laughs> It carries the same anointing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So tonight we we will be back here. We have we have a Grace Hour in Kenya Cinema, Grace Hour in Mutwapa. Uh, and we have Grace Hour under this tent. Somebody shout glory. This is my week in Grace Hour in uh, in Kenya Cinema. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be wonderful. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I said somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. How many people are ready to go and make money? Yes, we're gonna go and make money now. Stand up on your feet going to go and make money we are going to have it in abundance no man will be able to stand before you this day an angel has already been commissioned to order your steps 
you will not make moves that will bring a loss every idea that comes to you will be from the holy ghost and you will make great profits this day may the lord give you the wisdom of god may you make decisions that come from god for surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever may the angel of the lord go with you amen, amen. Wilfred Lai Partners for prayers, inquiry, and partnership. Contact us on 0800-000-898 or send a text to 23378 and our team of counselors will help you. This program is made. Thank you.